traveling the world on an endless adventure, we set out on our journey. As a family of four, we look to explore other cultures, food, music, life, and whatever comes our way. We aspire to find the beauty and humanity of the world while being able to share a little with others. Come follow our journey. We are Jason, Lenka, Alex, and Mia. We are the family on the run. So we just arrived at our next hotel called Il Frangipane. It's a really great location next to all the places you want to see in this area. And the price is amazing. I think this place is only about 40 US dollars a night. It's a wall full of love. I can see my country, Czech Republic right here. And our another country, United States right here. And you can see all these countries from around the world. Everywhere. Australia. Look at those beautiful messages. That's South Africa. Yep. Estonia. Germany. Hungary. Yeah. France. All these people. They got tours from everywhere. Singapore. Singapore. Love, peace, happiness, and devotion. And after three hours of traveling, we just busted open this bag of real bad boy chips. These chips are basically like cheese and jalapeno flavor and they're made in India and they are crazy good. Right guys? Mm-hmm. These chips are awesome. Exactly what we need. Okay. I'm gonna check out our new room. Hopefully it's nice. Oh wow. This is nice. Two huge beds. Nice space. Originally, when we checked into the hotel, we thought we were going to go directly over to Sigeti Arak and basically start to explore, but nature is giving us a little bit of rain. So, when life gives us lemons, what do we do, guys? What do we make? Lemonade! <laughs> <laughs> Since we're getting a little bit of rain, we decided why not jump in the pool while it's raining, right? Yes. And if we're wet, let's be wet, right? Yes. So we're going to enjoy the rain in the pool for a little bit, and then hopefully later when it clears up, we can go onto the rock. We are going to Lion's Rock right now. It's raining a little bit, so we are not sure if we will be able to make it. But it's true that the rain actually adds a little bit of mystique, so it might actually work for us even better. But we will see. Look at this. That's bad. So we are about to see the Sigria rock, or it can be called the Lion's Rock, and it's located close to the town of Dambula. So the historians believe that this site has been inhabited since the 3rd century, which actually makes this site one of the biggest archaeological wonders of Sri Lanka.
true family on the run. Guess where we are going? Only up. Apparently we're in the wasp zone. We're gonna have to be quiet because they actually do come out and sometimes sting and attack people. So we're gonna have to whisper from here. So we have to go up there, walk along that trail next. So we're not sure yet if we're out of the wasp zone, so we're still gonna whisper. But we're starting to make some good progress. We're getting up high, definitely above where the trees were before. It looks like we're getting to the bottom of the rock. Doing good. So you made my glasses. I'm completely foggy. You can see sweat on my face. We just made it to the middle, to the middle part, and we are already pretty exhausted. The stairs are so steep. But oh my goodness, how beautiful is this place? sweaty and just worked all our muscles and we made it that's the most important thing So we're not exactly sure what's going on, but this group here just kind of came up to us and they all want to start taking selfies with us. So we're just participating. Hey guys. <laughs> they were so cute. Oh my gosh. They just want to take pictures with us. Like everybody in Sri Lanka just want to take pictures with us because they haven't seen tourists in so long. We keep repeating it, but it's so true. I think we're the last ones up here because we arrived late. There doesn't seem to be anybody else left here on top of the of the mountain or on top of the rock. So I think it's about that time that we should start heading back down before it gets too late. But uh, it's been an absolutely incredible experience. I can see why this is the most popular tourist attraction in Sri Lanka because it is absolutely epic. It's amazing. <music> So I've decided to switch to the GoPro going down because honestly, this place is pretty slippery. And since you're more than twice as likely or something to fall when you're going down, I figured safety first at this point. So GoPro all the way, heading back down the mountain. I think Lenka brings up a good point. This is already hard enough to do with the staircases and all the railings. And it kind of makes you wonder how they brought all these rocks up here to do this in the first place.
apparently we have to actually go up before going down. And there's no video allowed, so we'll see you on the other side. Little buddy here. Yo, what a good doggy. We make little friends everywhere, don't we, guys? Yeah, cats or dogs. We just made it back to this paradise, which is our hotel. And we are so hot, we're gonna go right back in the pool. What should we do next? Um, maybe, um, let's see how long we can hold our breath on the water. Mia, do you wanna try that game? Yes. yes really? Yes, All right, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Do the challenge, okay? Here we go, guys, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Good job. Oh, yeah. Alex, your turn. Did four seconds. <laughs> the winner is Mia. Who loves Sri Lanka? Me. <laughs> Who loves Sri Lanka? Me. <laughs> waking up here just to the sounds of like all the nature all the birds and the monkeys and everything it's just this place is just an absolute like little tropical paradise it's so beautiful here so it's a little crazy on these roads the amount of animals our driver Alicia has had to basically dodge and avoid is kind of it's insane actually we've had to basically like go around monitor lizards and dogs and monkeys and pretty much peacocks. anything at peacocks and pretty much anything wanders into the roads here we haven't seen a wild elephant yet he says it does happen but the point is is when you're driving here it's really crazy you get a lot of really like wild animals and even domesticated animals just lying out in the street and you always have to be paying attention real carefully but he's been really good about it our time in Sri Lanka is coming to the end but before we actually leave this beautiful country we still have few things planned and today we are going to this beautiful ancient city that's called Polonarua and it's 140 kilometers northeast from Kandy. This used to be a place where many Sri Lankan kings used to live. In the 20th century, this place was restored and today it's one of the most popular sites to visit. And this place is amazing. It's basically a complex of many temples and many Buddhist structures and most of them are actually dating from the 12th century. So they are pretty old. We are very, very excited to go in and finally see it. Okay, so the ticket costs $75. We pay $25 for adult and 12 and a half for a child. This looks That's pretty it. cool. Yes, we are ready to go. So we just saw the map and the complex looks really large. So we will probably need a couple hours to just explore everything. This is an interesting fact. Foreigners are being charged $25 per ticket, but the locals are actually being charged 75 cents. Huge difference. And that comes to almost 100 times the price. Ooh. We just got stopped and by these police officers that are behind me and they wanted to see if we have our quarantine certificate which is pretty normal right now in Sri Lanka if they see that you look like a tourist they will stop you and ask you if you completed the two weeks quarantine so they did all the official stuff very serious face you know show me the quarantine list show me your uh, PCR test show me your passports your tickets and at the end can we take a picture with you 
Let's Sri Lanka for you. Apparently this next area that we're in is considered a sacred place for Buddhist religions. And typically speaking, anytime you go into temples, no hats, no shoes. So guess what we're doing? We're going barefoot, but this place looks pretty cool. We have four statues of Buddha right here in the center. And this used to be the shrine where the tooth of relic was actually located once. I have to be saying this way because my back cannot be turned uh, against the Buddha, but this place is so beautiful. I think it's maybe my favorite part of this whole complex. So although we're melting out here today because it's a little hot, this place is really cool. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I mean, when you come here, you don't know how this place is going to look like. And it's actually separated into different sides. So you always see few, then jump in the car, drive to the other one. And every time you come to different side, it's something new. It doesn't look alike and it's really beautiful. Yeah, we've never been to a place like Angkor Wat, but we can imagine at least with the, like the ancient feeling of these ruins, it's gotta be somewhat in that kind of genre of space. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, I think that every time you come to these ancient cities, it's just magical. Okay, so here's a fun fact about this place. It's really beautiful, but it requires you to take the shoes off because it's a sacred place. And with the sun beating down, our feet are burning. It is so hot. <laughs> Feels better, the sand in the shade? 10 times better. Somehow Alex is toughing it out. Alex, how are you doing that, bud? Isn't it hot? We gotta be careful with our ice creams, right, Lanka? Yep. What did the, what just happened if you're not careful with the ice creams? Someone, the monkey just took someone's ice cream. Oh. Alex, yeah. don't let the monkey steal your ice cream. <laughs> now there's another monkey up here in this tree trying to steal ice cream cones too. But the locals aren't having anything of it, so now the locals have caught on to their plan and they're, the locals are, uh, protesting the monkeys. All right, so Mia's trying to enjoy her ice cream, but this guy is literally stalking us, trying to steal the ice cream out of her hands. It's followed us from the, all, all the way across the street already. This guy is still following us, trying to get ice cream from the kids. We wanted to go to this beautiful temple, and but we have to leave our shoes here. It's probably not a great idea because somebody is watching and I'm sure we would return with no shoes. Yeah, we're worried he may try to run off with our shoes, so we are going to have to skip this going closer to that temple. Yeah, this is a sacred place and the Abu has the carved into the stone. So this sign says we can photograph but not with people in the photograph because it's a sacred place. So as you can see here, this Buddha statue was carved right out of the rock. And you can actually tell based on like the marble patterns going straight across the body match the back wall. That's really cool. This whole thing is one continuous carved out of the side of the rock wall. So while we were in there, we were not able to actually shoot us in the videos. We could take videos, but not us in the camera. So now that we're back outside, we can talk for a second. So there were four statues of Buddha, all carved into a stone. 
and it was not expected at all. It's a beautiful sight. Just one gigantic side of a rock face with marble, basically with four Buddhas carved right into it. Really awesome. Yes. My favorite one was the Lying Buddha. The Lying Buddha? Yes. What about you, you Mia? Which one was your favorite? I like the Lying. The Lying? Because yeah. I never saw that one before. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. at our last stop and this is the Tivanka house and Tivanka means three bends because of the image inside has Buddha that's bending in three places the shoulder the hip and the knee so apparently this is no shoes no camera no clothes and no hats when I was explaining before the bending uh, bending Buddha this is a very unusual uh, statue of him I've we've never seen it before but they didn't allow us to shoot inside so unfortunately we don't have the footage but it was so beautiful it was a beheaded buddha uh, bending in all three parts absolutely beautiful inside really just another world treasure and even the kids you know just learning yeah. on the fly but they love all of it and we got really lucky because just <laughs> as we left a huge tour bus just came so yes. we're really happy yeah. I've never seen a squirrel like that, huh? Polonaru completed! Wow.